Hey guys, hope you're doing well. As of today, the channel just hit 10,000 subscribers. So real quick before getting into today's video, I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Words really can't express the enjoyment and excitement I get putting these videos together, and not to mention the opportunities that come with it. But all together, it is all thanks to you guys, so. Thank you. So to commemorate the occasion today, we're gonna to be doing a full mods list breakdown on everything I have on the car. I did one of these a little bit ago at 2,000 subscribers, but almost everything now on the car is entirely different. And the few things that are still the same, I do get a handful of questions on. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through everything. And to do you guys a solid, I'm gonna have everything on my vehicle linked in the description box down below in the order of how it's coming on the screen. And for those of you with newer fusions, just in case something isn't compatible, I'm also gonna find those links as well. Because over time, they did change some things here and there. But for the most part, most of the things on my car will fit. So starting off with the most obvious thing, the color. This vehicle is wrapped in the beautiful candy metallic gray purple from Vinyl Frog. I waited specifically for these lighting conditions so you can get a little bit more perspective of how the light actually shifts. In a little bit of a lower light, you get a little bit more of that purple hue, but as you can see here in this clip, gas station lighting at nighttime makes it look absolutely insane. Definitely one of my favorite colors. So low light is purple, casual light is more gray, but if you can see right there, a highlight is much more of that pink hue. So you definitely get a good range of colors with this wrap that I absolutely love. They also have a pinker variation of this color, a more blue variation of this color. They have a ton of different colors and they're coming out with new colors all the time. I also do have a discount code with them, so go ahead and use that if you wanna get 5% off your order and let them know that I sent you because they have some beautiful, beautiful colors available. And next up, are these headlights. Now the headlights are one of the few areas that's the same from the last video, but I still get a ton of questions on it, so let me walk you through it. So these headlights are the Mustang style headlights for the 2013 through 2016 Fusion. The bumper is actually a little bit different for newer Fusion, so you do need to get a different headlight, but nonetheless, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So the reason I really, really like these is because it upgrades to dual projector LED. So you have an LED high beam and an LED low beam. And then with that, these gills right here actually function as the turn signals, and these are the only headlights that out of the box come with halos. However, these specific halos did not come with these headlights this is a morimoto slash profile prism setup that i retrofit into these housings however because it already came with halos it was actually very easy to swap them in these are 80 millimeters you can control them from your phone the thing i will say about that is the app is a little dated but these also have a black housing with a clear lens so they give you that nice sleek look and these gills can actually also function as running lights there's actually a blue wire that comes with them all you actually have to do to get that to work is basically just a fuse tap to an accessory fuse and you're good to go i've done a ton of videos on fuse taps more specifically if you want to look at any of the footwell lights but definitely a really really cool piece all right, i'm having to adjust the settings a little bit just so you can see it but next up we have my upper and lower grills from jma racing i absolutely love these things because they give the front end a lot more depth most other grills have the mesh coming to the front however you can see that these have a few inches of depth so you can get that really really nice profile right there you can order just the upper section or the lower section but as i'm sure you're aware the newer fusions do have different shaped bumpers but he does make grills for newer fusions as well i'm also linking a playlist up here in the top right corner because i've done a full video on almost every Everything I've done to this car. So if you have any specific questions or you want more in-depth information, feel free to check that out. The next thing I don't really talk about too much, but it's definitely a piece I really like having, and that's my grill lights. Probably one of the few grill light kits that you can get that's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg, but nonetheless, definitely a really cool piece. Next up, we have this lip from 3D Carbon. Now, on 3D Carbon's website, they actually label it as a front air dam. I've also referred to it as a bumper extension just by the way that it cups, but just for the sake of familiarity, you can definitely call it a lip. This is still a factory bumper, I haven't replaced any of that. All it is is just adding this piece to the bottom. I did however get the center section wrapped in matte black just so it doesn't look so busy and kind of offsets the grills. But I definitely think that the combination of the grills and the lip give it a really really nice and much more modernized look. Next up we have these wheels. So these are a set of Kratos CR102s and I absolutely adore these wheels. So they are finished in this nice metallic silver and one of the things that I'll point out is the center cap actually covers all the lug nuts. I absolutely love that because again you get that really really clean sleek look. They actually have a manufacturing location here in the DFW area so definitely want to support them. But actually thanks to that they were able to get here in like a day's time which was great. They are wrapped in a set of Nino Motivo tires 255, 35, 20 in case anyone was wondering. I do really really like these tires definitely good for a daily but they can also get a little bit of performance to them as well specifically when I was driving the Blue Ridge Parkway it was a very windy road and she didn't miss a beat then behind them I'm not really sure if you can tell but I have a set of brake motive brakes these brakes there's really nothing crazy about them probably one of the few things I don't actually have a video on because that was actually just something that the vehicle needed uh, pretty early on when I got it before I was actually posting on YouTube but they are drilled and slotted so they give it a little bit more of a beefed up look but that was a little bit more out of necessity than anything Next up are these mirrors. So the mirrors actually had custom painted in metallic black. So there's a few pieces. So the grill, the mirrors, and the door handles as well as the spoiler are all metallic black. 
as you can see right here. But the biggest thing is definitely that I finally found a set of LED turn signals that actually fit and work great. Just a little side note, but in the original video where I installed a set of turn signals, those were actually the Mondeo spec, which is the European version of the Fusion. For whatever reason, that version actually has bigger mirrors. Not really sure why, but these turn signals are actually made for the US version, so these fit perfectly. Much more of an easier plug and play install. With the wrap, I did get a full chrome delete. I did it in a gloss black, just kind of play a little bit more with the rest of the colors on the car. The roof is also wrapped gloss black as well. The vinyl for these is Avery Denison gloss black, pretty casual thing you can find at most shops. And also up here on the roof is a shark fin antenna. And that antenna is actually from a Ford Edge. I really, really like it because it has nice angular lines. I think it plays with the rest of the car really, really well. Now we can come to the interior. So for the interior, the first thing I did was I basically blacked out what I could. So my vehicle came with tan interior from the factory. So I was able to find a 2014 Ford Fusion titanium donor car and I was able to actually get a lot of those pieces for this vehicle. So I got the seats front and back as well as the door panels and then some miscellaneous interior panels as well. They were all direct swaps. Some of my favorite things definitely being that these titanium seats actually move whenever I get in and start the vehicle and when I turn it off as well. You know, cooler stitching, same with the door panels. And then there's actually felt inside the glove box. But definitely the biggest thing is I already had heated seats, but now I also have a heated lumbar, which is probably one of my favorite things about this interior. I did the footwell lights way back when, and then another pretty easy thing to spot is actually got the interior trim pieces color matched, and they do have a really nice little sparkle whenever the light hits it just right. You'll also notice that my seat belts are purple. This is actually something you can get done with Safety Restore. The way you do it is you remove your seatbelt, send it to them, they'll replace the webbing just like this, send it back to you, and you just reinstall it. It's pretty simple to do, and in that playlist, I do have a video where I actually break down how to remove these things pretty easily. Now, for these model year fusions, you actually couldn't get the upper half black. So what I did for the BNC pillars is actually painted them with some interior plastic paint. Past that for the headliner, I dyed it black as well as added the Starlight headliner. And then from there, went ahead and sourced some parts from an MKZ because they have the black label, which actually came with these upper pieces in black. And these are actually direct swaps. So I was very thankful to actually be able to find this one that has a sunroof because it works with the sunroof. These visors and these roof handles, as well as the dome light in the back are all from MKZs. Then I have my dash cam from Thinkware. I really like this one. I also moved so that you could actually see it, but uh, this one is actually very small. So it actually hides behind my rear view mirror, which I really like because it does not obstruct your view whatsoever. The kit does come with the rear dash cam and you can actually connect to your phone as well. So if you need to get footage quickly, you can definitely do that. But I do have a full review on the install video itself. And then we have the setup for the Xbox, which I'm sure all of you guys are aware. Then I have my Spotify car thing, which was great for Fusion Flood. And Last thing for the interior is I did order a Tesla screen from Phoenix Automotive. Thing is, they're having a massive shortage of parts and supplies. So as of right now, I'm basically waiting because I ordered it before Fusion Flood and the goal was to basically have it be like that last big thing right before Fusion Flood, um, but basically got delayed multiple times. So as of right now, we're just waiting. I was really hoping to have it for this video because it would have been really cool to just kind of cap the interior off with that piece because I've been talking about it for such a long time. But we're basically just waiting it out. Next up is this spoiler. So I did used to have the LED spoiler, but I ended up opting out to get this factory style spoiler with the Spoiler King spoiler extension. I do really, really like this piece because it does give you a little bit more of that nice aero look. And even when you're driving, you can actually see these little winglets or whatever you want to call them actually in the rear view mirror, which is pretty cool. But my main critique on this piece is really just the price. But at this point, you're basically paying for that little bit of aero look that you get. I do also have a set of these Porsche style tail lights. I absolutely love these, give the rear end a really, really modern look and they pair really, really well with the rest of the black accents on the vehicle. And the number one question I get on these things is the fitment. So will they fit newer fusions? Short answer, yes, they will fit. Long answer, you need to do two different things. One of them is a dress for this piece right here because newer fusions actually have like little chrome trim pieces that they incorporate into the tail lights. The 2013 through 2016 fusion doesn't have any specific trim that goes onto the tail lights. The newer ones do. So what you actually need to do is source this piece right here. Now this piece is actually super, super easy to find. You can get it for like 30 bucks online. And there actually is a new piece where it's actually like an LED strip in there. I don't really know the specifics of it, but I'm pretty sure they made that just so it can fit more fusions. Now the last thing you would need to do if you want to get a set of these taillights on a newer fusion is, is essentially downgrade your taillight wiring harness to a 2013 through 2016 spec. The good thing is they're not very expensive online. And basically from there, you would take it to a shop, have them swap it out for you and you're good to go. Right, moving on, we have my custom painted Ford emblem. So these emblems are actually a really easy thing to do. I painted these myself. Uh, granted, you can definitely go a much more professional way about it, but for the most part, it's a pretty easy DIY job that you can do over a couple days. The only thing that actually takes time is just letting the paint dry. Removing it and disassembling it, you can definitely get done in a night, but you definitely wanna make sure the paint is dried before you reinstall it. But other than that, definitely a pretty easy, approachable job to do. And lastly is my Fusion Sport Relower Valance. So this is probably one of the 
more difficult to acquire pieces. Not a matter of sourcing it, but just a matter of them being available. I got mine from FordParts.com or Parts.Ford.com. And I specifically sought out this piece because this is actually the most approachable way to actually do a dual exhaust. If you do a fusion titanium dual exhaust conversion, there's a handful of pieces you have to get. But for this one, for this one, all you actually have to do is just buy this piece right here and you can just direct swap it onto your vehicle. Pretty simple to do. And then from there, you have a setup for dual exhaust. Granted, you still have to get the exhaust work done to actually get two pipes coming out. That nonetheless is gonna be custom to however you wanna go about it. In this specific situation, I did a muffler delete to a Y pipe and then I got these nice carbon fiber tips to wrap it all up. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for all the continued support. I owe you all a debt of gratitude I don't think I can ever repay, but I'll try my best.